negation pseudo class or simply not selector is used when you want to exclude something from a set of elements. We will see a simple case where I want to style the box elements excluding the elements with class name no color. One approach is to style them separately, which will be an extra effort. An efficient method is to use the not selector. This property selects all the box elements which do not have no color class with them, and when we apply the styling, we can see that colors did not change for the no color elements. One special trick is that we can achieve the same effect by targeting the parent element. For that target the container element, then provide a space after that, and then exclude child elements for which you do not want to apply the styling. Now when we apply styling, it did not affect the no color class elements. Make sure to mention the space between the parent and the not selector, or else the styling gets applied to the parent element. This is the format of the property. Now let's consider another case, where there are more than one class that has to be excluded from the styling. This can be easily done by listing the class names of the elements you want to exclude in the not selector, separated by commas, and on applying the styling, we can see that elements of both the classes got excluded. Not just multiple classes, but the not selector can be used in combination with other selectors also. For example, there are a set of box elements stacked below one another, for which we want to apply margin to separate them. This can be done by setting the margin top for the box element, but the margin top is applied for the first element also, which creates an unnecessary space. We can use a not selector with a combination of the first child selector and exclude the first box element from styling. I have also set background and text colors for better visualization. We can see how the first child got excluded. Not only the first child, we can also exclude the last child or any other ant child as shown. Not just ant child selector, we can also combine with other selectors like active, hover and many more. We can also exclude elements by targeting their attributes using the not selector. Here we can see that we are having a set of anchor tags, with some of them having target attribute as blank. Now we can exclude these from styling, by mentioning the attribute inside the not selector. And on applying the styling we can see that the text color of the anchor tags with target attribute did not change. One of the best use case with not selector which I found, is with this input box. There is a text input box, and a label for the input box, both wrapped in a parent container as shown. Now the target is to make the label visible when the input is focused. For that, a simple solution is to initially hide the label element, and when the input is focused target the label element and make it visible. You can also hide the placeholder when input is focused. You might think everything is working as expected, but after filling some data we can see the label got hidden. For that, check when the placeholder is not shown, using the not selector. Then target the label element and make it visible. Now we can see that label is visible even after the data is filled. Try experimenting with different elements and combinations of not selector to achieve your desired functionality. If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.